Now we're going to start studying the mathematics of statistics. The first thing we're going to start off with is center. It's kind of like middle, but there's actually a couple different centers that we're going to study. The very first one is called a mean, and that's just kind of another name for an average. Hopefully you're familiar with how to calculate an average. This is where you add up everything that's in your list and you divide by how many things are in your list. An example of mean or average that you're familiar with would be GPA, grade point average. In terms of a GPA, you might have gotten all A's and C's in your classes, but your GPA would be a 3.0, a B, because that's what a mean does. It pulls everything to the center. So let's go ahead and look at this example here. This says for the past three semesters, Jean has taken 10, 13, and 19 units each semester. What is the average or what is the mean number of units that Jean has taken per semester? So to find this, we add up the numbers in the list, the 10, the 13, and the 19, so that we get everything in the list. And we divide by three because there's one, two, three items in the list and get a result of 14. So we're saying that Jean has averaged 14 units per semester. And we could also have said Jean has a mean of 14 units per semester. It's all the same thing. But now that we know how to calculate it, what are we saying? What does our mean mean? Well, one way of looking at it is it is the value every item would be if they were all the same, so if they were all identical. So now let's go ahead and think about our case for Jean. Instead of Jean taking 10, 13, and 19 units to total 42 units after three semesters, she would have taken 14, 14, and 14 units each semester. She'd still have 42 total units, and each semester she'd have the same units. So a mean is balancing everything to the middle so that everything could be identical.